There's two types of people in this world, the winner and the loser. I always believed that I was one of the winners in life. I had a beautiful wife and pretty daughter, and lived in a high-rise condominium when everyone dreamed to live, with a personal concierge who would always be at our help 24-7, not to mention the variety of facilities we have including a training gym and a private pool. Yes? Food delivery! Oh, I'll be right there. Thanks for your hard work. Here's your tip. Whoa, really? Superb! Thanks so much, sir! We had more than enough money to get our food delivered from a posh cafe, and to give a generous amount of tip to the delivery boy. Everyone would envy my lifestyle. It's obvious that I'm a winner in this society. Food is ready! Come and eat! I believe that this lifestyle would continue forever. Until that day. This was what my mother looks like about half a year after we moved into the high-rise condominium. Look at this bag my darling got for me. I always wanted this Maniton bag, and it turned out to be unlimited edition. Having lunch with her mom friends was the best opportunity to brag about how wonderful their husbands were. My mother was the typical mother who enjoyed her luxurious life as a resident of a high-rise condominium. Oh, I envy you. I always ask for a Maniton bag, but my husband keeps getting me a custom-made bag just for me. Ah, like mother, like daughter. My sister also uses up her pocket money as granted with her gal friends. Ugh, it's like a dream to stay at a money money land official hotel. And it's a suite. Are you really sure about paying for all of us, Natsumi? Huh? Uh, obviously. My dad works for one of the biggest investment companies, so my family's rich. Mom also gives me an infinite amount of pocket money whenever I ask for it. Gosh, that's awesome. But there was one thing they disliked about their life, and that is me. My darling is such a talented elite. But look, his son is jobless. How embarrassing. You're an embarrassment to our family. I know, right? I'm too embarrassed to tell anyone that my brother always stays at home drawing weird pictures all day long. You're already an adult. How about you go out and get a job? They hated the fact that I always stayed at home and ruined their perfect lifestyle. They complained about me every time they saw me in the house. <sighs> They're complaining again. Well, I'll just ignore them as always. At first, I was able to cope with them, but their attitudes got worse and worse every day. Uh, Mom! I don't want my laundry to get mixed up with my jobless brothers. Can you get them done separately? Right. Fumitaka, you do your own laundry. I don't think you deserve to eat this expensive steak, jobless. This should be enough for you. <laughs> like this, I sometimes only had a small amount of vegetables to eat. I can't bear with this anymore. Alright, if you don't want me here, I'll move out. Oh, really? Yay! But, uh, I wonder how a jobless guy like you would make a living. I don't want to find you dead on the streets, okay? Okay, okay. I was starting to pack up my things, ignoring all the insults from my mother and sister. F Fumitaka? Wait, don't leave! Can't you give it a second thought? Without you, I'll... I'll be... Seeing my father on the verge of tears, I almost decided to stay with him. Tad, stop it! A jobless brother like him is useless in this house. I agree. Fumitaka should learn to support himself on his own. He can't just depend on us forever, can he? But... Hearing those words, I made my decision and left the house after packing up all my belongings. Hmm, where should I go now? I have to find a place to live before anything else. I headed to see a real estate agent who specializes in expensive housing. Hello, how can I help you? I'm looking for a place I can buy within this budget. B what? Uh, how, uh, uh, how about this one? Hmm, two stories with a tennis court and private pool. Not bad. I'll buy this, thanks. No longer having to support my family, I was finally able to use my own money for myself. So I decided to buy my own house where I can relax and do whatever I want anytime, anywhere. Food delivery! Now that my jobless brother left our house, our life was perfect. <sighs> he 
it feels so nice to know that my jobless brother is no longer living with us. I know. I think the air feels more refreshing without him in the house. After Fumitaka left the house, I was the only one at home in the afternoon. Being alone at home means... Your house is huge, Miyuki. I know, right? My husband makes a lot of money. Oh gosh, you're evil. You really sure about having an affair with me? Of course. My jeans are craving you. Is that the Manaton bag from the new collection? Yep! I didn't plan to buy it, but when I was checking it out at the shop, it was so cute! I can't resist the urge to get it. You bought a bag that costs two to three thousand dollars like it's nothing? You're definitely on a different level. Two months later, living in a high-rise condominium with my beautiful wife and pretty daughter, I was living a luxurious lifestyle as the rich in this society. But my life was facing a huge crisis. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I only have 8,000 left in my account. What should I do? I was starting to run out of money. I have to keep this a secret somehow. When I was thinking of a clever way to hide it from my family. Darling, what is going on? There's only $8,000 left in our bank account for our living expenses. Can you transfer more money to our account? Oh no, she found out already. Uh, are you sure? That's weird. I guess my salary hasn't been transferred to our account yet. Oh, I remember. My company told me that the head office would directly transfer us the money this month. It might take about a week to get reflected to our account because it's going to be transferred from abroad. Eh? Huh? I see. We need the money as soon as possible. Make sure to transfer it to our account once you get your salary paid. Oh, uh, of course. I managed to come up with an excuse this time, but it's a matter of time until she finds out the truth. Time passed by as I tried to think of a way to overcome this financial crisis. Uh, gosh, what is wrong with him? With the passbook in my hands, I was trembling with anger when I received a phone call. Hello? Is this Mrs. Hirata? Yes, that's me. I called to notify you that you haven't paid for the rent yet this month. It turns out that he hasn't even paid for our rent. Oh, I'm very sorry. I'll check with him as soon as he comes home. Yes, please do so. I was about to faint from anger and embarrassment when I realized something. Wait a minute. It all began after Fumitaka left this house. I bet my husband is giving him all our money. That's why we don't have money this month. That jobless jerk, I will never forgive him. I decided to visit Fumitaka's house with my daughter. If I remember correctly, he lives near Manihongi. Is this his house? Whoa, it's huge! There's no way my jobless brother lives there. It, it, it doesn't make sense. Don't tell me your dad bought Fumitaka a house. Is that why we don't have money? That could be possible. If he has enough money to buy him a huge house, he should at least pay for our rent as well. Natsumi, let's go and find your dad. Okie dokie. Like this, we headed to dad's office to talk with him. Excuse me, I'm here to meet my husband. He's Chef Hirata, the general manager here. Can you call him, please? Um, Chef Hirata? He quit his job a while ago and no longer works for us. What, what did you, did you say? say? Finding out the shocking truth, it was impossible to process all the information and accept reality. Mom, what's going to happen to us? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. My husband retired from his job and Fumitaka lives at a huge house alone. What is happening? Mr. Hirata, I need you to pay your rent as soon as possible. I can't wait any longer. I'm very sorry. I promise I'll figure out a way. You told me the same thing the last time I called. 
A week passed since my wife found out that we were running out of money. My phone was ringing all the time, with calls from the management company demanding for my unpaid rent. What am I going to do? There's nothing I can do! It was starting to give me a headache. Then, at that moment... Hey! Dad! My wife and daughter found me burying my head in my hands at the local park. How come you didn't tell me you quit your job? Don't tell me you can no longer pay for our living expenses! I knew I couldn't hide it any longer, so I decided to reveal everything about my situation at last. Actually, a few weeks after we moved into the condominium, I was fired from my company, and I had to depend on Fumitaka to pay for our rent and living expenses. The money in our bank account wasn't actually for my salary. It was all Fumitaka's money. What? Fumitaka's money? There is no way our jobless son can pay for such a big amount of money. If you're going to lie, Come up with a better one! I'm not lying! I have no idea how he's making money, but he indeed has a lot of money. Since I got fired, he was transferring us the same amount of money as my salary I used to get paid every month. That can't be... <laughs> Ow! When I was explaining everything, Natsumi suddenly started suffering from pain in her stomach. Natsumi! Are you okay? Oh no, we have to take her to the hospital right away. <laughs> but we don't have money. We still have some left from what Fumitaka gave us. Let's get your checks before it's too late. We'll take you to the hospital right now. After we headed to the hospital with barely enough money in our accounts, we found out another shocking truth. Congratulations, you're three months into your pregnancy. Huh? I bet it was hard to experience morning sickness on your own. Make sure you ask for necessary assistance from your parents. And uh, don't get too stressed about it, okay? I think you owe us an explanation! Who is the father? Tell us! It turns out that the father of the baby was her classmate. There were a lot of things to worry about, but before anything, we decided to head to the classmate's house to have a talk with him. My daughter is pregnant with your baby! How are you going to take responsibility? Huh? I don't know. First of all, is she really pregnant with my baby? You've been sleeping with so many guys. Bring me proof if you think you're pregnant with my baby. What? Is that true, Natsumi? Uh, um, yeah. I've never been in so much despair in my life. I had no money, no job. My lovely daughter is pregnant, but we don't know who the father of the baby is. There's no way out. The only thing we can do now is... Ask Fumitaka for help. A few months passed since I left my parents' house. I was getting used to my life alone and was enjoying the freedom I have. Hmm? Who's there? Fumitaka! Oh, need your help! Need your help! When I opened the door, I found my mother and sister crying as if it was the end of the world. Why are you here? We don't have money. And I'm pregnant. We have no idea what to do. We'll apologize for everything we did to you, so please help us. <sighs> How selfish can you all be? How come you're here begging me for help after treating me so horribly at home? I am very sorry. I want to be a good mother. I hope the best for my baby. That's all I want. I am sorry I kept everything a secret from my family just because I wanted to look good. Alright, let me talk to you first, Natsumi. Promise me you'll be a good mother. Y yes sir And make sure you get a job and make money on your own once your baby gets older, okay? Okay. Next, Dad. Promise me you'll find a job and get rid of your stupid ego. Yes sir! You'll start right now. If you have time to visit the park and pretend like you're at work, use it to get a job and make money. I'll definitely do that. And Mom? Yes sir? Firstly, stop having affairs with young guys. What? You knew about that. And promise me you'll get a job too. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry I kept everything a secret from you. Let's start anew and build a new lifestyle together. Yes, darling. What an irresponsible group of people. <sighs> but I can't change the fact that they are my family. 
I made them promise me to sell all the brand name goods, and with the rule of living a modest lifestyle until they make money on their own, I decided to let them move in with me. But, um, how do you make so much money, Fumitaka? Oh, about that. I actually work as an illustrator. These are some of my artworks I've been illustrating for my job. Are these the illustrations of... Money Money Slayer, the famous anime? There are also illustrations of People Kaisen! I didn't know you were involved in the production of famous works like these! Well, that's my job. At first, I was worried that it might be hard for them to work after living such a luxurious life. But they were doing way better than I expected. Mom worked part-time at a convenience store, and Dad worked as a supermarket employee. They worked hard every day to make a living. Hey! Didn't I tell you to place the old ones in the front? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, it's great how you place them in a way so that the customers can easily see the expiration date. And great job for placing them so neatly! Uh, Mr. Keita, thank you. In the case of my sister, she gave birth to a healthy baby boy and is trying her best to take care of her baby every day. Ugh, gosh, I'm so unlucky! He pooped when I was just about to change his diapers! Alright, I guess I'll have to work hard too. Hello to everyone watching Money Money People! Thanks for watching this video! Working part-time, taking care of your baby, working any job in general is hard work, but they're all important. What kind of job do you have? Feel free to comment below, and don't forget to subscribe! Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani People here! We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!